All right, Janae, you ready to get your shoes on? What? Oh my goodness, you look like a mummy. So one of our favorite days of the week is called Beach Day, and it's a standing play date with several friends where we all meet together at the beach after school, and we just play, and I love it. But I've learned that when we get home from the beach, we're always super hungry, and there's not really enough time to make dinner. So I'm really proud of myself. The last like three weeks, I've planned ahead and actually had a crock pot meal ready to go when we get home. So I'm doing that again today, feeling pretty good about that. And today we're making something called huli huli chicken. Huli huli chicken? Yeah, one of the first gluten-free recipes I learned. Never heard of it. All right, Caleb, you gonna help me make dinner? Uh-huh. So we need the crock pot and to put stuff in it. Can you find ketchup? So this is just a really basic sauce that goes on top of chicken. We've got ketchup, garlic, ginger, soy sauce, and brown sugar. So we're just making the sauce? And the chicken we're gonna put in a crock pot and it'll bake all day long. And when we get home, we'll eat it. Is brown sugar seriously gonna be in our dinner? It is. That's gonna be so good. You think it's gonna be yummy? How much are we gonna put in? Half a cup. Yum. Okay, do you wanna help me put everything in the crock pot? Mm-hmm. Doesn't really go together with ketchup and soy sauce. It is a little bit odd, I agree. So they don't have tons of great parking here in Puerto Rico. So people just park in the middle of the street or up on the sidewalks. Kendra and I have been sad that since we've moved to Puerto Rico, we haven't taken as many opportunities to do service. It's been a little hard for us with just getting settled in and then we've had a lot of visitors come to stay. Today though, I'm taking Isaac and Elise to go to one of the middle schools here to help teach English during the kids' lunch hour. We help the kids learn English by just playing games with them. It's amazing how much fun these kids can have with water. I love watching her scoop things. Thanks for the water, Janae. What did you say you're making, Laura? Tea. Oh, she's washing them. Wash, wash, wash. Okay, let's go water the flowers together. The girls are done with playing with the water, so we poured the water into cups and they're gonna water the flowers. There it is, she's watering the flowers. Yeah, go get some more. All right, we need six tablespoons. Stop. I agree, this dinner does not look appetizing yet. Soy sauce is something that often hides gluten in it, so you have to be really careful, but we found a brand that's gluten free. So uh, there was a kid who actually challenged Isaac to chess. That's fun. I ended up winning. So then outside of playing chess, we played Trivia Pursuit, and the girls we were playing with spoke English really well. I was impressed. Thank you. So I just knocked over this bottle of soy sauce, so I'm feeling really grateful for this little lid thing they have, because it didn't spill everywhere. Except apparently I also don't know how to get it to come out. We need six tablespoons at this rate. This is gonna take forever. Yeah, I think I have to take it off this little. I would have thought it to have like lumps of sugar. Yeah, but it dissolved, huh? Plug this in and turn it on. I hope that there's enough sauce to go around. That's the weirdest combo. Sugar with ketchup. But when you put it all together, it's gonna taste good. Cause it's got all day to cook. So are we cleaning? So I asked the kids to dry up all the water and this is the method that was chosen. It's working, kinda. Oh, mom's coming, mom's coming too. Fast, fast. Apparently patio towel rides might be becoming a thing. Ready, set, go! go. Again? Yeah. Can you say please? please go! Go! <laughs> so the best part about making cookies yesterday is that we have leftovers today and we don't have to make the whole mess. That it came into water. This is Caleb's happy place. Building with dirt and water. What is that? Inside of a shell. 
Ooh. All right, this creation has been growing and growing and growing. <laughs> Stand beside. Get Kayla? my feet. Get my feet. I think they did get your feet. Oh, there comes a toe. <laughs> File it on top of those toes. <laughs> you gotta stop wiggling your toes, Caleb. Oh my goodness, you look like a mummy. You gonna break free? So much sand. All right, Janae, you ready to get your shoes on? Yeah. What do we need first? Socks. No, yeah. You want yellow ones? These ones are pink. No, yellow. We don't have any yellow socks. Can we wear these ones today? No. Mmm, say okay. Okay. Go. Are you ready to go? Can you put your arms in the buckles? Yeah. Janae is excited to go play at the park. <laughs> there you go. <gasps> Good job! Daddy. Hey, Laura. Hi. What do you got wrapped around you? Watch out. Watch out. Good throw. Well, they should be happy for a while. There are rocks to play with. So Elise is finishing the last book in a series that she's absolutely loved. It's Thanks called Zoe and Sassafras. So what do you like about it? I love how it's sciencey and it has cute and adorable animals. It's just so much fun. This is the last book of the series. Sometimes it can be hard for me to find books that I really love for my kids, especially in the early chapter book stage. And this series, as soon as we read the first one, I bought the whole series and Elise has just gone straight through them. There's so many cool scientific principles in the books. I really like the characters and there's not unnecessary rudeness or drama or conflict. It's about science and I learned a lot. She keeps coming up and telling me the coolest things. She's like, mom, did you know about this with bacteria and yogurt? And did you know about this? And I'm like, what? It's a good sign. You pretending to feed the birds? Here we go. <gasps> Janae loves bleachers. Is it warm? Unicorns and germs. They talk about a live bacteria that's in yogurt and about good bacteria and how it's on your body to make bad bacteria not come. It's about a unicorn who has an infected cut and they're trying to make sure to get the bacteria out of the cut. Okay, so there's the rest of the series. She's read all of them. I think we're gonna go to the author's website and see if she's making more or if she's written any other books. I've just really liked the character development and the scientific principles. It's just good quality. So if you have a younger reader, we recommend Zoe and Sassafras. Not sponsored, we just really like this. Ready, set, go! So I let the kids pick wherever they wanted to go out to eat, and they chose... Burger King. Burger King. So Burger King is like crazy popular in Puerto Rico. I think there's more Burger King than any other restaurant. More than all of the other ones added up together. <laughs> it's everywhere. I'm okay with that, I love Burger King. We're making it extra special today too, and I'm letting them get a drink, which we, pretty much never do. Yeah. Very rare. So I remember as a kid that it was special when my parents took us out to eat because we didn't do it very often. I want to try to maintain that for our kids. Yeah. The gluten-free aspect really helps us not go out to eat as much as we want to. Yeah. So it's a really fun thing to go out with our parents. Yep. There we go. <laughs> the Burger Queen. <laughs> and there's two Burger Queens. <laughs> so you were looking like you were a little bit embarrassed putting this on. Yeah. Are you? Kind of. kind of nervous about what people would think of you with a crown on? Yeah. That's so fun when kids start to get a little self-conscious about stuff. We'll make sure to make that as awkward as possible for you, okay? Yep. okay. <laughs> I don't know if we can eat all that, you guys. We might have got a little bit too much. Yeah, we'll see. So my goal really wouldn't be to embarrass you, but if you can go through life less concerned about what people think, it's a lot more fun and a lot more free to just yeah. do and be whatever you want. Yeah. What are you working on, buddy? My uh, little garage that's under my house I'm building. This is my prototype. It's basically a garage. Like an underground garage? 
Yeah, but it scans when somebody comes. But then if it's not the car that owns it, then it won't open. That's clever. There's lots of things with white stripes and red stripes. Look, that plant is attacking that little kiddo. <laughs> I did find one. Which one is he? This one. That one. I wonder who that is. <gasps> Wait, who's that? <gasps> Waldo! Because every page you have to find Waldo. These were really popular when I was a little kid, Laura. Oh, I definitely had this book when I was a kid. I remember library time, I would mostly try to play this game. I remember on Sunday afternoons during quiet time at my house. Oh, I found her! <gasps> there she is! Good work! He was confused, so I stepped in to help, and now we're both confused. Is this the engine? Yeah. It's gonna be that. Sweet. Then I'll be able to do electric ones where they have like an app where you can go We did it. We got that step completed. You have to pay such attention to detail with these things. So the long side goes in on the I fourth did. one. Yep, okay, no, so now you just need that black peg in there. Well, Waldo has officially become a family name. Mm -hmm. Everybody's joined in. You can't really resist. Yeah. Did you find her? Yeah. yeah. Laura, all right, Laura found the wizard before us. Show mom. I haven't seen the wizard at all. Oh, there's the wizard. Yeah. Isaac, I just figured it out. Odd is Waldo backwards. Oh! So he's like the opposite of Waldo. Dinner. <laughs> good night, Jay House out. Say good night. Nay, nay. Jay House out. Nay, nay, nay. <laughs> it sounds like you say nay, nay out. <laughs> nay, nay out. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how the vacuum works. All right, I think I'm done, Dad. <laughs>